Hey guys, you here with Prophet Dick. Another little tip today. When you're bidding work, the main concern, in my opinion, is you need to know what it costs you to operate. When you're bidding work on a day-to-day -day basis, if you do not know this, you cannot give an accurate bid. And if you don't know what it costs you to run your crew per day or multiple crews per day, what it costs for your crew, your equipment, your material, so on and so forth, you cannot put a bid together and put a markup on it and know that you're going to make money. If you and I bid against each other, our materials are going to be roughly within 1% or 2% of each other. Where we're going to lose money or make money compared to each other is based on our time factor. What I see, the amount of time and amount of people and crew that I'm going to need to put this job in versus what you're going to need to put this job in. If, if you're not getting this down, you're not going to make money. If you're not getting this down, you've got to figure out a way to improve your cash flow. The only way to improve your cash flow is to figure out this. If you bid a job and you've got just say a steady 15% profit figured in and say you're running at 10% overhead and you're not making money, you've got to figure out where you're going wrong. And there's multiple solutions out there to track your cost, profit dig being one of them. I don't care which one you use, but you need to be using something to track your job costs. But the only way you can improve your cash flow and recover from jobs that's been underbid is to track your cost and find out where you're losing money and correct it, and that will automatically improve your cash flow. If you're going in at a 15% profit margin or 10% profit margin, you want to hit that mark or do better. You know, if I go in at 15%, I won't try to come out at 20, 25%. Always, the only way you can make it up is to speed your crews up and do it in time because your materials are going to cost you the same regardless. So guys, you have to know what it costs you to run your business to be able to improve your cash flow. Thank you.